Hey there fellow creatives, Justin here, and today we are diving headfirst into the wonderful world of video editing with CapCut Online. Buckle up, because we're about to take your editing game to a whole new level. In today's epic video, we're gonna break it down step by step, starting with some crucial fundamentals. We're gonna start out with video ratios. After that, we're gonna talk about uploading media. You can't make awesome videos without all your awesome footage. After that, we're gonna talk about using stock video and stock music. Finally, we're gonna talk about timeline basics. First step, head over to CapCut.com. If you don't have an account, go ahead and register, otherwise sign in. Alrighty, so let's get started with ratios. On the top left of your workspace, you're gonna wanna click on ratio. This is gonna set the dimension for the video you create. CapCut Online makes it really easy and quick to select a ratio. It also tells you what those ratios are typically used for and where you're gonna see them. First up, 16 by nine, oof, that classic widescreen. This is the most common ratio you're gonna come across because it's perfect for your YouTube videos, your high definition TVs, and most of the stuff you're watching on your screen right now. So the opposite of 16 by nine is nine by 16. It's like turning your widescreen world on its head. This ratio is tall and narrow and it's perfect for your mobile devices. When you're scrolling through your favorite social media apps, this is the ratio that's gonna keep you glued to your screen. Ooh, four by three. Do you guys remember those old school TVs? Yeah, those rock the four by three ratio. It's a bit more square compared to the 16 by nine and you might use it when you wanna give your video a little bit of a retro and nostalgic vibe. The four by three ratio looks like a blast from the past. You know, being a square is sometimes good. The one by one ratio is all about symmetry and balance. You'll see this on platforms like Instagram and TikTok where it's got a super unique feel. It's fantastic for showcasing individual elements and make them pop right in the center of your screen. So the first thing you're gonna to have to do to start your project is gonna be uploading your media. There are a lot of different ways you can upload your media. You can click this big plus sign here in the center or you can drag and drop your footage directly into the timeline. If you connect your Google Drive or Dropbox accounts, you can also upload directly from there by clicking on the corresponding buttons. If you wanna upload directly from your phone, all you have to do is click on this phone icon, then scan the QR code with your phone's camera. The footage you select on your phone will be uploaded directly into your current project. Wait for your footage to finish uploading and transcoding, and it'll be ready for you to start editing. Uploaded footage can be found in the left-hand menu under Media, and it's gonna appear in both your projects and CapCut Online's cloud storage for future use. Now, you might be wondering, why should I care about stock footage and music? Well, hold on to those editing hacks, guys, because this is going to blow your creative minds wide open. Over here on the left-hand side, you're gonna find stock video. You're just gonna search for what you need and CapCut Online will provide. It's quite the genie in the bottle, so get in there, explore, and see what kind of things you can find. It's your Swiss Army knife for visuals and sound, giving you the freedom to tell any story you can dream of. In addition to that, you can click on audio and you can do the same thing where you search for that emotional cinema score or that crucial comedic sound effect to bring that creation to the pinnacle of perfection. Next up, let's talk about timeline editing and take it back to the roots of video editing and master the building blocks of storytelling with CapCut Online. It's time to get our hands dirty with the basics. All right, first up, we're gonna talk about trimming. Now, think of trimming like it's sculpting your video masterpiece. You've got a ton of footage and now it's time to trim away the excess to reveal the masterpiece within. With CapCut Online, it's as easy as a few clicks. All you gotta do is click and drag the beginning and end of the clip like this. If you have a long clip and you wanna add some magic into the middle of that, that's where splitting comes in. You can place your playhead where you want to split the clip and hit the split button right here. 
Or if you want to make it even easier, all you have to do is click where you placed your playhead in the timeline and it will split the clip exactly on that spot. So after all of that, you're slicing your clips and it's just like a big puzzle and you're the master solver. It's a lot of fun. Let's dive into the next part, transitions. To apply a transition, all you have to do is select the transition that you want to use. Then, all you gotta do is drag and drop it between the clips. Now, if that's not easy enough for you, we've got one other option. You can bring your playhead close to the cut, then simply click on the transition you want to use and CapCut Online will put the transition into the edit for you. To adjust the length of your transition, select the transition, then click on basic. There, you can drag the slider to get your desired length. So we're getting into animations now, and in order to do that, you're gonna wanna select your clip and head to the animations tab. Once you're in there, you've got three different options. You've got in, out, and combo. If you look at your clips in the timeline, you can see where you placed your animation by looking for these arrows at the bottom of your clip. Now, if you look at the bottom of the animation panel, you can use the slider to fine tune the animation's timing to absolute perfection. It's another creative way to go from one shot to the next. Just like that guys, you have nailed the basics of video editing. Now you know your video ratios like the back of your hand, have stock footage and music at your fingertips, and have become a timeline wizard. Great job sticking through this tutorial guys, I'm super proud of you. It's always hard in the beginning, but trust me, it is so, so worth it in the end. Please don't forget to subscribe for some more epic content, but until next time guys, stay creative and keep rocking those edits. Happy editing.